On the big screen, one aspect of war which often gets overlooked is the tank genre. You'll find hundreds of films about fighter pilots, infantry soldiers, and there's even a movie about a war horse. But tankers just don't get the Hollywood treatment. To address the balance, I've tracked down 10 tremendous tank movies. Here we go with the first film on our list. The BBC series Our War covers critical phases of the Great War. Each of the episodes is an hour long. Episode 1 focuses on the outbreak of war. Episode 2 covers the Battle of the Somme. However, in episode 3, tank fans get to see the Mark I British tank enter the fray. The final instalment follows a tank crew as they deploy for the Battle of Amiens. As far as I know, it's one of the few depictions of a World War I era tank in a movie or series. It's available on BBC iPlayer, Britbox and Netflix in selected regions. Don't miss this series as it's brilliant. Oh! We're heading back a few decades with The Beast. If you're older than 40, you might remember a time when it was Russia fighting in Afghanistan. This tank movie covers a Soviet-Afghan conflict of the 1980s. Made in 1988, it's one of the first movies by Kevin Reynolds. He went on to direct Waterworld and Rapa Nui. The Beast tells the story of a lost Soviet tank. The crew struggle to find a way out of a deep valley while being stalked by Afghan Mujahideen. This is a cracking tank movie, Nevertheless, you'd have to view this film through the lens of Cold War propaganda. Like ice, sir. I didn't ask for the temperature. Is the bottom mud or stone? Stone. No! The only way to watch Battle of the Bulge is with a large bottle of whiskey. Take a swig every time you spot a mistake in the tanks, uniforms, weapons or weather conditions. Within 15 minutes you'll be having a great time, even if you don't enjoy the film. But you will, as it's a classic old school war movie with loads and loads of tanks obviously all the wrong type. If you mention in the comments that the German tanks in this film are actually American M47 patterns, you will be blocked immediately. Unusual Clark, isn't it? It has only one cycle, 50 hours. We have resources for only 50 hours of full-scale attack. That attack must take us to the River Meuse, and you shall do it in 50 hours. Let me have your rifle. What you need is a cannon, sir. Last time I saw that German, all I had was a camera. When putting this list together, I noticed that the Russians have produced a considerable number of tank-based movies. Tanks for Stalin is our first Russian tanker film on the list, but it's not the last. A reviewer has described it as highly enjoyable, humorous tosh, which pretty much sums it up. Enjoyable, even when taking liberties with historical facts. <laughs> T-34 is another Russian tank movie and this one has been described as the fast and furious with tanks. The plot is far-fetched, but the action is excellent. If you like the computer game World of Tanks, this will be right up your street. Ich gebe dir eine Chance. Du stellst deine russische Panzerbesatzung zusammen. Нам предстоит драться на этом танке. По нам будут бить боевые. Ты что, как гладиаторы что ли? Что за дом? А ты нагадайся. Бежать на танке с полигона? Это все. Каюк. Бандера прямо перед нами! Прямо! Завязай! The 
star of this movie is a Russian KV-1 tank. And that's a rare sight in a film, as nearly every single Soviet tank shown on screen is a T-34. Sure, the plot of this movie is filled with more holes than a German tank at the Battle of Kursk, but just look past this and enjoy the KV-1 in action. I have noticed that this film goes by a few different names. You might see it listed as indestructible and also invincible. The movie Lebanon offers a change of scene, as it's neither American nor Russian. The movie focuses on an Israeli tank in the 1982 Lebanese war. While it may not be perfect, it's good enough. And if you're sick of watching Russian or American tank crews, you don't exactly have a lot of choices. We're nearly at the end of my list and I know what you're thinking. Just one more Russian tank movie? White Tiger is set in the dying days of World War II. A lone German tank, the White Tiger, stalks the battlefield, picking off Russian armour before disappearing into the fog of war. This is not your typical war movie. It's heavy on metaphor and mysticism and is surreal at times. More of a war parable than a war film. Totally different and that's why it's on the list. Что ты хочешь этим сказать? В мистику веришь? В том, что я говорю, не больше мистики, чем в теории Дарвина об эволюции живых организмов. Фильм Карена Шахназарова. Поехали! Моя армия со скоростью 50 км в сутки идет в Берлин. И ничто ее не остановит. This is not a super serious recommendation, but if you've never seen Girls on Panzer, you have to check it out. It's the thoroughly bonkers Japanese animated series where high school girls learn how to battle with all kinds of World War II armor. The tanks are actually incredibly well rendered and the kids learn authentic tactics from the era. The series culminates in a fight between a legendary German tank, the Mouse, and as that tank never actually went into production, this cartoon is the only way you're going to see it in action. If you want to watch a great video about how Girls on Panzer is more realistic than Fury, check out a link in the description. It's track, and finally, passionate and precise like its main cannon. If you train in tankery, you will become a better wife, a better mother, a better student, and a better worker. You will become healthier, kinder, stronger, and men from all over the world will fall at your feet. This is your chance. Train your body, train your mind, embrace tankery, and blossom as a woman on the field of battle. Join Miho Nishizumi and the other girls of the Oorai Girls Academy as they learn about life, love, and the art of tank combat in Girls und Panzer. Coming soon. That's the end of our list. Thanks for watching and remember to hit the subscribe button.